I gave an interview about, it was actually about The Biggest Loser and Does That Show Work Today? And I said, I don't think so. I said, because I think the world has become so PC that we, we've gone so far as to glamorize obesity. And, you know, I just, I think this is where things can become unsafe, right? When we're so PC that we're denying the reality of certain health ramifications. <laughs> Jillian Michaels, she is host of the former show Biggest Loser. She's fitness guru, advisor, personal trainer, I'm assuming, whatever else you want to call her. Welcome back to Andrew Says. I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. It's cold. It's minus like 15 degrees outside. That's probably minus like 7 trillion in Fahrenheit. But who knows? Uh, this is how we do it up in the Arctic. She was on a, f a show called AM to DM on BuzzFeed's YouTube channel. Obviously a show about gossip and celebrity news, I think all the most important stuff in the world, so it's going to get a lot of great opinions on that show, where Jillian dared to say that being obese and celebrating obesity, not exactly a good thing, leads to heart disease and all the sort of stuff that you don't want, cardiovascular problems. Talking about some singer named Lizzo, I hadn't heard, I think I've seen pictures of this woman before, I don't really know who she is, but apparently she's pretty popular, but she's also rather obese, I'm sorry to tell you. But then again, so was Notorious V.I.G., so was Aretha Franklin, I'm pretty sure, so was Pavarotti. That doesn't have anything to do with their talent, and this doesn't need to be pointed out, it's what she said. But the point is not to say, hey, you're really unhealthy, that's cool. Let's, uh, let's celebrate the fact that you have an increased risk of heart disease. So get your punching bags out, get your vomit bags and or buckets out, I don't know, get your smelling salts and glue sticks out because it's fake outrage time everybody pendulum just as far as it swings in one direction it swings back in the other right and you've got these crazy extremes whereas oh she's you know she's too fat to be a pop star well you say things like that and you know then there's going to be you should never be able to say things like that right but for years people were they could fat shame and they could exclude people and they could make people feel less than in all forms of media and we should always be inclusive but you cannot glorify obesity. But, it, I mean, 250 pounds, I would say 999 times out of 1,000 is going to mean heart disease, cancer, diabetes, autoimmune issues, and early death. Like, mm, 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 mm. I, I have to say, no. I, I personally found, no. and I love celebrities like Lizzo or Ashley Graham who are really preaching self-acceptance. I and, love her music, yeah, 100%. Well, I don't know anything about her. I'm sure she's a cool, awesome chick. Yeah, and I love that they're putting images out there that we normally don't get to see of bodies that we don't get to see being celebrated. And um, why are we celebrating her body? Why does it matter? That's what I'm saying. Like, why aren't we celebrating her music? Because it isn't going to be awesome if she gets diabetes. Well, I want to ask you... I, I, I'm just being honest. Like, I love her music. Like, my kid loves her music. But there's never a moment where I'm like, and I'm so glad that she's uh, uh, overweight. Like, wh Where's Greta when you need her? I wish I had her on retainer to say, how dare you, Jillian? How dare you say what's obvious? And this other girl, the host of the show, who lives in the world of BuzzFeed, the land that time forgot where this, this sort of obvious truth can't be said, says it's great to see these types of bodies that we wouldn't regularly see being celebrated, you guys. Uh, so let's just celebrate some anorexia. Let's celebrate a little bit of uh, a person on kidney dialysis from drinking too much. Let's go ahead and celebrate those people with holes in their necks from smoking cigarettes their whole lives. I'm so glad to see proper representation of people like me in the media. Representation matters. Mm, this wood won't burn. Well, Dad, looks like we'll have to use the old Indian fire trick. Mm, yeah, burn. The positive comments. Um, are pretty overwhelming on the YouTube uh, videos. Likes versus dislikes, everybody supporting Jillian, but you just know, you know the stupidity was gonna have to come, you saw it on BuzzFeed. It's gonna come from, from everywhere, you knew it was gonna happen. Even though she said it's not about shaming, it's not about being mean, it's not about uh, the pendulum not being far enough to the negative side. It goes both ways, she says. It's about the diseases and the unhealthiness, but you know some lunatics are going to have something to say about it. They're going to come after her, and they did. Look at these headlines. This is not a Jay Leno bit. Hey, what's in the news today, you guys? You guys hear about this? Let's see the headlines. Jay Leno, maybe I'm dating myself here. 19 vacation pics that will show Jillian Michaels that Lizzo is living her best life. 
here's the first picture. Like, what do, what do you guys want us to say? You actually want to post this picture and have people be like, oh yeah, you sure showed her, everybody. <laughs> They're the ones being mean, pretending like this. If there's a guy with one leg, and I come on here and say, you know what, this guy with one leg is never going to be Usain Bolt. He's probably never going to place in the Olympic 100 meter final. And then someone prints a story and says, Andrew says, says this man will never be Usain Bolt. Let's show, him, let's show you just how wrong he is. And they show you a picture of a guy with one leg. You're supposed to be like, oh yes, yes he can. You're just lying to be mean. Oh, oh my god, this helps nobody. This sort of stuff. In fact, it makes the person who's the victim of all this feel worse about themselves. You're not helping. I'm gonna get a gonna get an email from a guy with one leg. Just watch. Boston Magazine. Jillian Michaels' criticism of Lizzo's body shows how problematic the fitness industry can be. Look out, everybody. They use the word problematic. You're in trouble now. Vox, of course, you knew they were coming. What celeb trainer Jillian Michaels got wrong about Lizzo and body positivity. Trust me, you do not need to read any of these articles. Why? Because this is what you're going to get. Michael's comments about Lizzo's weight reflect a widespread belief that all fat people face serious health risks purely because of their weight. Cut back to me now. Obesity is bad. <laughs> I'm sorry to let you know this. That the health risks of an obese person are higher than of a not obese person. And no one's saying that you're dying if you like to have a couple cheeseburgers now and again. Maybe you have a gut. Maybe you don't exercise very much. Nobody's saying that about you. They're talking about the obese people. And this woman, Lizzo, unfortunately falls into the obese category. And now by saying these ridiculous things, you force me and other people to come out and be like, this person's obviously obese. But what is this desire to, to for everyone to be in these fantasy lands and just pretend? Me Play pretend. Men can have periods now. Men can be pregnant. Uh, you should let your children go to these drag queen story times. Being fat is sexy. It's all just these pretend things that have just popped up in five years where five years ago you'd have just been like, no, that's insane. That, that's never going to happen. But oh no. It's reality. This view is bolstered by a lot of research showing that there are health risks associated with carrying excess, excess weight in quotes for some reason, as if it's not actually excess. That's your problem to think that it's excess. Including heart disease, some forms of cancer, and yes, diabetes. Just stop reading the article right there. You know, these, you know those videos that are like four second trailers? That's what this article needs. Being obese can cause cancer, can cause lung disease, yes, and even diabetes. And seen. That should be it right there. Because you know what happens when you go on beyond that? You end up going 17, 17 layers too deep like you're Fast and Furious or something. Fast and Furious, uh, Great Wall of China Drift or something like that. It would be too mean to stop there. So let's go ahead and say some stupid stuff. Now here they talk about BMI, of course, and how this is the fallback for everybody. You're technically not unhealthy if you don't have the recommended body mass index. Well, that can be true. It's only usually reserved for like a tall, skinny person who maybe is a little underweight or a short and stocky person who's a little heavier than most people their height. But in general, it works. That's why it's used. And then here's where you just start to sound ridiculous. The last sentence here. For example, the psychological distress that can result from being overweight or obese in a society in which it is stigmatized can cause inflammation and negative long-term health effects. That's my Farrakhan voice. So the claim here is... Not that the obesity is the problem. Not that, uh, you know, shoveling food down range is what's going to make you unhealthy. The real problem is, you guys, is your negativity. <laughs> it's not being fat itself, it's society, you guys, and shaming people. According to Vox, the science is still out on this, you guys. <laughs> Imagine being like, so how much smoke? How much uh, do you smoke a day? Oh, well, you know, about two packs a day. Oh man, that's really unhealthy. That's good, not good for you. You could get lung cancer, heart disease, stuff like that. You know what? Actually, the science is still out on that. It's actually you shaming me. Shaming me. That's worse than me actually smoking. If society wasn't so negative towards cigarette smokers, they'd probably be better off. Let's start celebrating cigarette smoking again. Let's start putting it in every movie. Start putting it in commercials. Why can't you advertise cigarettes on TV? 
It's ridiculous. It's uh, you're shaming people. I would like to see them and their bodies represented on TV. It's like that um, that advertisement that was banned in the UK. You know, in the subway with the trolley. I don't know what they fucking call it there, but uh, the woman in the bikini is banned because it's an unrealistic body type, as if hot girls in bikinis don't exist. That's what you're going for, America. That's what's going to happen. You can't call an obese person obese. Now all of a sudden, uh, you're going to have a lot fewer Jillian Michaels on ads, and it's just going to be a lot more Michael Moore's. Is that what you want? You want to see Michael Moore shirtless and, and celebrated for his disgustingness? You don't, do you? I didn't think so. Thank you, PC culture. Thank you, virtue signaling. Thank you, social media, for all of this. I wouldn't lie to you, except for maybe this once. One dollar a month on Patreon. I would appreciate it. See you next time.